Listen to this. Yeah, so the Nyax is completely gone and it's putting out a, a sick beat. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm heading down to Easton, Maryland to uh, do a little uh, testing and experimenting at the uh, Tesla Supercharger with my ID4. Um, that has the magic dock and allegedly they're outputting 500 amps, which would mean for those of you who don't know that what amps are, that the ID4 would do its max speeds, which before it wouldn't do on the magic dock. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in here. Of course, I pull up to the one, I wasn't paying attention and the lights aren't on. So it says it's working, the lights aren't on. We'll see. Uh, and then allegedly, gotta switch hands. Oh, sorry. This is great camera work. Great YouTube content. Anyways, um, it says it's working in the app, so we should be good. And I have plug and charge. So we're gonna see if plug and charge works. It did not work the last time I went to use it. Let's see. Yeah, didn't work again. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I went to a different charger, tried the plug and charge, still didn't work. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe I'll reach out to Electro America when I've got some time to, to waste and see if they can help me figure it out. I even tried to, um, in the uh, infotainment, you know, where you have to log in, sometimes it's pretty annoying, or maybe you don't know that if you don't drive an ID4. But anyways, I did that and that didn't change anything. So I don't know, uh, but here's the plan. I want to charge up to like 24, 25, maybe 27% so that I arrive at the supercharger with um, optimal uh, temperatures for charging speed. As you can see here, I'm getting 77 kilowatts. I kind of would expect that because the battery's not warm enough right now. Um, so I'm not saying there's not an issue with this. I'm not saying there's not an issue with my car but I, this is what I would expect. Um, so I'm gonna let this charge up to about 27%. Hopefully that heats the battery up enough so we get, when we arrive at the Tesla supercharger, we can pull the full 500 amps um, if it is true um, that the Magic Dock is allowing that much current to pass through it. Okay, everyone, so change of plans. This, um, I think there is something wrong with this charger, actually. I looked at the car scanner app and the car was asking for 416 amps, even though it was cold. So it does show that it does lower the request, um, but it was only getting 200 something. So I plugged into this one right here and it's getting 158, the full 416 amps requested. So um, yeah, definitely an issue there. I, I want to pull as many amps as possible because I want to warm the battery up. So that's why I, I switched. Um, if, that, if I have to go a little bit over um, the 27 to get the battery warm enough, that's fine but I obviously will have to drive around a little bit more to wear um, the state of charge down to 10% because I want to get a full 10 80% charging curve on the supercharger if it is in fact um, uh, increase in the amount of current it can pass through the adapter. All right, we have gotten to a 27% state of charge, but I still want to um, get the battery a little bit warmer. Again, optimal is around like 25 degrees Celsius, which I think is like 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe I'll actually look it up and put a little a caption here in the video. Uh, so just gonna go a little bit more, maybe 33% um, and the battery will be warm enough uh, for when we get to the supercharger. All right, I'm gonna stop it here, 37%. Um, that got us to about 28, 29 degrees Celsius. So as long as you can keep that by the time we get over the, the Bay Bridge, that'll be great. I want you all to hear, listen to this. Yeah, so the Nyax is completely gone and it's putting out a, a sick beat, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, Anyways, I'm going to get, get in the car, pop over to Starbucks. I put a little mobile order in and then get on the way to the supercharger. Okay, everyone, uh, we are on the way. 
got my cold brew uh, like I often do. Um, we have a state of charge of 36%. It says we're gonna arrive with 20%, so I might need to drive a little bit more to get rid of 10% of the battery, which is annoying, but again, I have to have that warm battery if I'm gonna be able to show that the uh, Magic Dock is putting out more than 350 amps, which it was limit limited to um, the last time I used the Magic Dock up in, uh, I believe it was Hancock, New York. So if you wanna check out that video, you can. After this video, maybe before, at the same time, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do a video comparing the two Tesla supercharging curves. Um, and hopefully uh, there's a difference. Um, if there's not, then maybe I won't do that comparison. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're on the way, heading over uh, some waterways here. It's gonna be nice to take the Bay Bridge across the Chesapeake Bay. It's always pretty. Hopefully the sun, the sun might be rising at the same time that we get there, but it's starting to rain, so I don't know if we're gonna have any things. All right, let's get on the way. everybody that's where we're gonna be going but we're only at 13 percent so uh gonna drive a little bit more east and then come back and arrive at hopefully nine or ten percent all right everyone i'm here at the tesla supercharger with the magic dock if you can see it in there uh, i'm gonna plug in and i'm gonna see if we get 500 amps or not um someone on i think it was facebook and then someone reposted the picture from facebook onto twitter showed their rivian i believe um, charging at 200 some kilowatts, which means it was getting 500 amps. So uh, theoretically, we should be able to. Uh, are we supposed to? No, because uh, as far as I'm aware, the Magic Dock adapter can only do 350 amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and see what we got. All right, everybody, we're here. 8.68% um, display state of charge. We've got 24.25 uh, Celsius min, 26.5 max, so pretty good pretty optimal should uh, be able to see if it's putting out um, 500 or 350 amps which is what we'll be looking for we'll be seeing that right here where it says dc battery current so if it says 500 then we uh, they have increased the current that can pass through if it says 350 we know nothing has changed for now so i'm going to go ahead plug in i'm going to record this session and then we're going to see what's going on here at the supercharger all right, everybody, so I just discovered that I can't screen record on my iPad. Uh, I'm sure there's some app I could get, but I don't feel like figuring that out right now. So I will not be live talking uh, with the camera while it's occurring. Um, so once the charging session is over, I will kind of do a recap. I guess I could use my iPad to record, but the quality is not as good, but whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll see what we got. All right, I'm all plugged in here at the supercharger. Let's see what we got. All right, everybody, I've got some low quality iPad uh, video here. And yes, I know my screen protector is terrible, but yep, we're pulling 500 amps on a Tesla supercharger. Um, there, there's your evidence right there. Look at it, that's all you need. 500 amps. Incredible. So um, yeah, truly exciting. Um, I guess they're getting ready. Maybe they're testing out adapters. Who knows what they're doing, but um, it looks like everybody's gonna be able to use the full capabilities of their EVs at Tesla superchargers. Caveat, unless you have a 800 volt vehicle, then you won't because they still haven't figured that out, but I'm sure they're working on it, maybe. Okay, everybody, so the, the Tesla superchargers with the Magic Dock, they're outputting 500 amps if your car can accept it. Um, not this was done on the Volkswagen ID4. I had seen on um, was it yeah Twitter that uh, Rivian was getting the 500 amps. So if your car is capable and there's a magic dock, you should be able to pull the full 500 amps, and that gives us optimism as the Tesla supercharger network opens first to Ford owners, then probably GM, and then so on and so forth. Eventually Volkswagen in 2025. 
Um, we're going to be able to get the full charging capabilities of our vehicles, which is absolutely incredible. Hopefully you could hear me over, over that truck. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, please remember to give a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.